Hey there everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to look at how you can get 40 out of 40 in the chemistry 0620 paper 2. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now the first thing you should be doing is maintaining a mistake book with explanations. For example, this is the one I have over here. Okay, so any mistake you do, just take a screenshot, put it in chat GPT, get the explanation, make sure you understand it and compile all of them in an online whiteboard or anything. Okay, then watch as many YouTube videos as you can. YouTube videos, why I would tell you to watch it is because you not only get an understanding of how to solve questions, but also a different perspective. Maybe you solve a question a particular way, but that might just work for a few questions. While watching YouTube videos, you might understand what is the other way or how you can solve questions faster. So that's why I would recommend. Now for paper two, it is very, very important that you practice, practice and practice. Now, of course, I would recommend you to just go over maybe physics and math uh, tutor because all of them are here compiled. So you can just click the uh, question paper, the math team is right beside it. So really helpful to so make sure you do as many past papers as you can. Now, practice it with time and set goals. Maybe the first uh, one or two papers you're doing, do it with 45 minutes. If you see you're do, uh, doing it within uh, that particular time, go to 40 minutes, go to 35 minutes, then go to 30 minutes. And if possible, try and get 25 minutes before the paper, okay? Set a goal and do it, okay? And please do almost all the papers that you do with time. Make sure you familiarize yourself with the periodic table, memorize the solubility rules, and memorize the test for cations, anions, and the flame test. Now, these are the most tested topics, so I would recommend you just go through it, take a screenshot, and go through them, okay? Now, important tips. Eliminate the wrong options first, okay? Do it fast so that will easily remove two or three that you know are definitely going to be wrong. You'll definitely know two are wrong, so you will have to decide between the other two that are left. Don't overthink. The first instinct is often always right in MCQ. I, I overthink, I overthought, I guess, in physics and I got one wrong. So make sure you don't overthink. Use estimation and calculation such as more questions. Be careful with the units. Make sure you read the units, underline the question. Many wrong answers and traps are due to wrong units. Underline keywords, guess don't leave anything blank because of course there's no negative marking. Flag the tricky ones and come back. If you get a tricky question in the beginning, say question 10, and you don't get it on your second try, skip it and then continue. But if you're on your, let's say, 35th question or so, do it 3-4 times. If you still don't get it, then skip it and then come back to it again. Okay? Now the day before your exam. This is what you're going to do because you'll have some time before your paper. Skim to the cheat sheet or the mistake general or book that you have. Drink water, eat something light, not too much, but make sure that you get enough energy. Now stay calm. MCQs is about clarity and not speed. Make sure you have your stationary everything right. And yeah, that's all you should be doing. I hope it helps and I'll see you in the next video. So then, ta-da.